this video, I'm going to continue the exploration of harmonics, and I'm going to add the harmonics necessary to create a square wave. So in the last video, we basically constructed this representation of a saw wave by adding together the first 12 harmonics. Now, I've left the levels intact because the square wave is the same level relationship on the harmonics. So for example, the seventh harmonic would be one seventh the level of the fundamental, and the fifth harmonic would be one fifth the level of the fundamental, and so on. But in this case, instead of having both the even numbered harmonics, two, four, six, eight, and 10, and so on, and the odd harmonics, like the saw wave does, it's the square wave only has the odd harmonics. It doesn't have any of the even harmonics. So I'm just going to go through and play this, and one at a time I'm going to take out the even numbered harmonics. Okay, so we can start to see a representation or an approximation of the square wave take shape. And if I just zoom vertically, you can see that it's more square than it may have looked before. And the basic idea is if I continued adding more harmonics, the higher level harmonics, then this would really start to shape up and look more like an ideal square wave would look. I'm also going to go through and build up the square wave starting from the fundamental and then adding the third harmonic, the fifth harmonic, and the rest of the odd numbered harmonics so that you can see how the transformation starts to take place. So it was interesting, even after the third and the fifth harmonic were added, it already started to have more of a squarish waveform shape. So that's about it for this video and the square wave. And remember, each of these waves or each of the harmonics, it's just a simple sine wave, okay? And it's at a specific frequency. And in fact, all of the complex sounds, any complex sound, is essentially composed of many sine waves at different frequencies. In the next video, I'm going to construct a triangle wave form. I'll see you in the next video.